Hey Corey, this looks pretty good here today, man. Again, I'm especially glad about that driver being so good on the launch monitor here when we finished up today. So I'm glad you got to come out and practice with the team. So, just a little bit above it there. And then from this face-on angle, just a little longer than we'd like over here. With that iron, the length of the swing. And again, the good news is there's no jump with your feet through impact there, just like we see over here from this angle. And then the next swing, the driver again, we saw the feet on the ground pretty well. Right there. Front foot on the ground pretty well. The back foot's not, but the more important one for you is that front foot on the ground. Pretty well through impact. Just a skosh above it. Ever so slightly above it. Nothing to worry about there. And then from face on, again, that driver's maybe just a little longer than we'd like to see it. The head down thing, again, we don't want to fool with. But there's the good news, that front foot especially is on the ground better. And whenever you do that, the extension is pretty good through impact. It helps you be more consistent, especially with that longer club in your hand, the driver. And then the one thing you mentioned there is you're wondering if you're a little too shut on the backswing, a little bit like you were last fall through the high school season. And I would tend to say, yeah, you probably are. So that's a little bit better over here on our right on the new blue. And I would tend to say this is pretty doggone square, buddy. And again, like I said, the toe up straight up in the air at that point is a little bit more what the good instructors and good players used to look for in the old days. There are more and more good players and good instructors looking at this, almost calling that square. But for you, this feels better over here on the new blue. That they would call this yellow, the old gold over there, square. But you see how that toe's pointed up in the air more there on the new blue on our right. And that's a little more comfortable for you. You tend to play your best golf when you're more there. And you got it on the plane line, interestingly, a little bit better when you hinged it a little better on the backswing. So I like that, man, on the new blue over there on our right. And then I just got this one picture of you just to remind you uh, that there's that launch monitor there again you're hitting that thing like something like 305 or 310 in the air or something like that and your driver was more like 275 or 280 in the air from what we did a week or two ago and I think this was after you adjusted it I can't remember but that little adjustment you made definitely created a little more carry So that's just to remind you that. And again, I don't think this comes through on the video. If it does, I'll do this. I don't think it does, though. But I hit edit, remember. And the speed and the distance, the distance won't be there, but this ball speed will be there for us when I hook the launch monitor up here to the system while we video your swing, as well as the launch angle, the push-pull, the backspin, and the total, or excuse me, the spin and the side spin. Yeah, backspin and side spin. So... We can get all that on here, bud, now with this good launch monitor. Good, good work, Corey. Great to hear, man, that it's going pretty well there so far the first couple of weeks. Talk to you soon, man. be talking to you soon to get something written down the next couple of weeks.